How's it going guys, this is Undying Art bringing you another figure review, well, two figure reviews, and I thought to celebrate the release of Black Widow, finally, at long bloody last we get to see that film, I thought I'd review my SH Figure Arts, Black Widow and Taskmaster from the film. So, just before we get into it, sorry I haven't been uploading in the past week, I've been completely out of commission. Um, I had my jab on uh, last week and then I've just been under the weather since, so just thought I'd take a break and recuperate and then come back when I feel it better. So, now that's all out of the way, let's get on to the figures. So, so with that out of the way, let's take a look at the figures and to start with we'll look at Black Widow. So taking a closer look at Black Widow, this is the only Black Widow figure I have so I don't have anything to compare it to, but I really like the suit. Um, I missed the Endgame version so I decided to pick up this version, as it is her probably last suit unless she appears in a flashback or something. Um, not much to say, good sculpt detail to the SHF as always, um, I'm not sh I don't really like the hair, I wish it was a ponytail, but I don't know what you call this type of hair, but I'm not a fan of it. It's really shiny for me, so I'll probably hit it with a matte varnish now that I've got it back at the cabinet. Yeah, lovely sculpt, nice sculpt to the holsters as well, and the, uh, Stingers, can't remember what she calls them. Widow Sting? No, I can't remember. And then she's also got like these baton holsters which come off for when you have them in her hand. Just a little ball joint. So as we're talking about accessories, we might as well get on into them. Two relaxed hands. Fairly plain sculpt, but gets the job done. Two, I would say, like Spider Man hands, like landing poses, um, martial art poses. Don't really know how to describe them. Like splayed out hands. So you can have them on the floor. Well, you could. Like that, you can see. And she comes with two hands to hold the batons. Very simple, just gripping hands with a hole in the middle. Then she comes with two uh, holsters without the pistols in, because they are, because the other holsters are moulded in, of a pistol, sorry. And then the other one is here. Nice sculpt to them again. Then she comes with a, actually no, let's look at these first. Then she comes with two trigger finger hands, and I've just got the pistols in them, just because what else would you use the trigger fingers for? So that's them. Same detail, and there's a bit of flash on the pistols, but it doesn't bother me too much. And the barrels aren't drilled out, so you can't put any effects in. And her last three accessories, she comes with two batons. And I guess tonight I'll see them in action. Well, at least I hope so, and they're not just something that's in the trailer and not in the film. And then she also comes with, I think it's the same baton, but in like a climbing pick configuration. That's what I think it is anyway, I don't think it's like a, um axe or anything like that, it looks more like an ice pick. So, yeah. Oh, and all that handles pop apart here, so you can then pop the hand on. Well, pop the handle through the hand and then put this on at the end. And that's all it is for accessories, so we'll get onto articulation now. So a head's on a double ball joint. So a head's on a double ball joint. It's not focusing, great. So you can get a lot of tilt all the way down. Not a lot up at all because of the hair. The hair is on a ball joint there as well, so you can twist that round for flowing poses, I guess. And then she's got a um, joint that goes out to her, I always forget what it's called. She does have a butterfly joint, does work a little bit, double jointed elbows, and then SH Figure Art style 
uh, ball joint at the rest so you can get all the way around if you want to but this one's a bit stiff torso crunches a little bit in I feel like I'm going to knock that hair out and a little bit back um, but with the waist joint you can get oh no not the legs you can get that much forward and that much back the leg joint goes out to there but is it drop down hinge? Well, I don't think it is Ready? However, there's no drop down hinge, or mine's really stiff and will not drop down. But yeah, then she also has double jointed knees, almost kick her own ass, as Fro should say, and then ankle pivot and points down and up, and then a little bit of a toe hinge as well. And that's black what it done. Now we move on to the villain, Taskmaster. So here's Taskmaster, and I'll just move the black word out of the way so I didn't knock her over. Getting in onto the detail with him, I love the suit. I used the Marvel Legends Taskmaster for a custom as I like the figure so much. Um, just love the sculpt work, and like you can you can tell it's like Taskmaster motifs, but with an MCU spin on it. I like the skull kind of design and like the heads up display which you can switch out which I'll show you later on just nice sculpt overall don't really know what to say nice texture to the hood as well feel focus there you go nice texture to the hood actually nice texture to the whole suit really And now we'll get onto his accessories. So he comes with fists, as you can see, on the figure. Um, let's look at the holsters first. He comes with the two you see on the leg, but then he also comes with the uh, revolver out of the holster. This is a really, really simple accessory. It's not going to focus because Taskmaster's there. Very, very plain sculpt, but it works. And then he comes with trigger finger hand. Sadly, only one. He doesn't, so you can only have him in the right hand. Have him wielding the revolver in the right hand is what I meant to say. A nice sculpt to the revolver. Very nice sculpt to the revolver. Actually, I really like it. And really nice sculpt to the hand. I've dropped it. Really nice sculpt to the hand. And then he comes with two relaxed hands, so you can use it as, uh, yeah, like relaxed hands or like a hand to parry attacks. Because if you know the comics, Taskmaster copies people's attack patterns and stuff. It's got a photographic memory. Then he comes with two gripping hands for the sword. Spoiler alert: there's a sword. Same with Black Widow, really, just um. Just a hole there. Then might as well show the sword. Nice sculpt to that again. And, it, and the same and a little Taskmaster symbol as well. And it also pops apart here to equip it to the hand. Then he comes with Black Panther style claws. So obviously he's been watching Black Panther in Civil War and copying his movements and Owl, these are sharp. So yeah, just look like, almost like the pose as well for Black Panther, so he's definitely been copying him. Or at least his dad. And then, two more accessories. He comes with a shield. Here's the shield. Very nice sculpt to it. It's quite small, but I think it's the right size. I just really like sculpt. And I'll show you that in his hand in a second. Then comes with a hood down option for Taskmaster. Which I'll show you now. Wow, that 
hours easier than it used to be. There he is with the hood down, and you can see all that beautiful detail of the mask. Looks so cool. And you can also take out the visor, which I'll show you again. Can't remember how you're supposed to do it. So if you want to, you can remove the heads up display, which I don't like to do, but I'll do it for the review. And then all you do is pop the goggles back on, the lenses, and then he doesn't have the heads up display. But to be honest, I don't like it like that. I like with a heads up display, so God, I'll try to take this back off. Well, annoyingly, I can't get it off, so for now, he'll just stay without his heads up display on. Then his last accessory he comes with is a bow. Very nice sculpt to the bow. Very bright colours as well, and the hand is permanently attached, and so is the arrow. And then he comes with a hand to hold the arrow, or look like it's holding the arrow. Like so. So you then just quickly equip it. Like that. And there he is holding the arrow. So let's move on to articulation for him. His head is on a double ball joint, just like Tars uh, Black Widow. So you can get that far down, not very far up. Quite a lot of tilt and 360 if you wanted to, but he's a human, so you'd break his neck. His shoulder pads are on a hinge, so they don't, they don't get in the way. They go all the way out. I just took off his bloody pouch. That's one thing that's annoying about this, is the pouches really do want to come off a lot. So go all the way out. There's a butterfly joint. Gets very far in. I can't tell if that's focusing or not. And then 360, obviously. Um, double jointed elbow. And then same SH, SHF style wrists. Then he has a crunch and go all the way down, all the way back, and then free. Does it go 360? Mine's really stiff. Oh, that sounds very scary, but it does twist. Wow, that's really stiff. And then for the legs, I do believe he has the drop down feature. So he does have the drop down feature. Mine's again very stiff. So. Leg only goes out that far, but if you push it, it goes a little bit further. And back. Back a lot far. A lot far? That's not English, Adam. And his leg. Almost kicks his own ass, double jointed. And then he's got toe hinge. That's very stiff as well. Wow, that's, that's very stiff. And then ankle rocker. Also very stiff, as you can tell I haven't used this figure that much. And then a little bit up and a lot down. That's the technical term for it. Definitely didn't mess that up. So now on to size comparison. So here we have Black Widow and Taskmaster with the SH Figure Arts Best Guard Mandalorian and the Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper. And here we have them with the Mafex Infinity War Thor, as this is the only figure that's on my review space that is also Marvel. And again, she's quite small, but it works for me, and I like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's an old video review, but I just got excited for Black Widow coming out today, so I thought I might as well review these old figures. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.